Wolfenstein, the new order! On a scale of one to Mayberry, how racist was that? Do a poll. I think they're up here, actually. Wolfenstein The New Order was a Game of the Year candidate from 2014. It's a first-person shooter. There's a campaign only, nothing else. Wolfenstein 3D was one of the first, if not the first, like, FPS in a 3D dimension space. Doom might have come first, I'm not sure. And this is a very, very classic, old-school, traditional shooter. It takes place in an alternate past, like, 60s, 70s, where the Nazis won World War II. So there's all this crazy Nazi technology. You fight, like, robots, and there's, like, laser guns, and it's, it's pretty weird. The graphics are nothing special, but it does run in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and the gameplay is very run-and-gun, bullet-spray, Call of Duty style. It's not like Tactical Rainbow Six, it's like you can dual-wield two assault rifles and you just blasting away. It's very traditional, like I said, there's health packs to pick up, there's armor packs to pick up, no regenerating health. There's a rechargeable gun where you have to like go to a station on the wall to refill the ammo for that one. It is really annoying that you have to hold down square on, on PS4 to... I still call it X. Xbox, or her, actually, I want GameCube. Xbox 360, PS4, so I've, I've jumped around every generation. I have allegiance to no one! But yeah, everything in the game, you have to hold down square to pick up, and it's annoying. You can't just run over it and touch it. So that's that's something from the old school thing that clearly should have been updated. It does get a little shooter cliche at times. There's a turret section, there's a plane control of vehicles section, there's a like really violent crash from a first person perspective when you're all flying around and just knocked out. But the thing about this game that's been making people talk about it so much was supposedly the story. It's supposed to have like a really good story. It's like, oh, game of the year quality story. And I disagree, as usual. It's not like crap or anything. I just don't think it's anything that special. The the characters themselves are all forgettable except Blaskovich or whatever. The villain, the villain, he has like killer death in his name. I don't remember what it is exactly. But he's a very kind of cliche Nazi villain. But that is kind of the... The, 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 the draw of the game, but not to the extent where it's like we're using the word homage to excuse cliches. It's not that bad, like Until Dawn. It's just trying to be refreshing and like harken back to the old school uh, shooters, you know, that were like really crazy. I do remember the old guy, he was kind of cool, I don't remember his name. It's a philosophy, it is a way of understanding God through knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rational thought, not supernatural bupkis. Huh. So everything you have created, what were you planning on using all that stuff for? No, you don't understand, Mamale. It is, well, there was never any purpose or intent of use beyond the act of creation. We create to commune with God. Do you see that? You've lost me. The gameplay itself is in first person, but the cutscenes are not. So you do see Blaskovich like walking around talking to people. And I like him. He's a likable character. He's a simpleton, but he's, you know, he's a military guy. 1960. Yes. yes. You've stayed with us for 14 years. It's 1960. I have to find a way to contact the U.S. military. I gotta find my unit, let them know I'm alive and ready for duty. There's no more war. It's over. No more military. No. The war ain't over. Look at all these Nazis walking around. They won. It's over. The Nazis rule the world now. They are everywhere. Everywhere. What about the U.S.? The U.S.A. They, um... What's the word? And initially, I really liked his relationship with, um, the cute foreign girl. And at first, I thought it was really cute, until just out of nowhere, they start f***ing. Way to just fast forward through all the mushy stuff and head right to the thing where everybody's... It felt kind of fake and forced. The story does initially go for a kind of war is hell thing, and it's supposed to be like really violent and graphic to like, oh, the Nazis are terrible people, but like, once again, we know, you don't have to tell us that, so. While some people give the game credit for being like, not holding back and being really graphic and violent, there was a part where he's like cutting a Nazi up with a chainsaw, and it just shows his face and blood going on. It's like, I want to see the Nazi getting cut up. I want to see like his face get ripped off, and then first the going through the skin, and then the skull, and his eye like popping out, and his brain coming out of the... Come on, you know you wanted to. I played the game on hard, and I gotta say, it is really hard on hard. Like, seriously, this level? And this level. and go straight to hell. But overall, it was a solid game that I just have no interest in replaying whatsoever. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. 
You could probably pick it up for like 20 bucks at GameStop or rent it from Family Video or Blockbuster if you're still a member of the Confederacy. All right, we're undercover. We have to make everyone think we're a Nazi, okay? Just act natural. Turn, Blasco. Jump across to this side. 